Hello, my name is Grace Klonoski, and I'm a guide at Monticello. And my name is Charles Morrill, and I'm also a guide at Monticello. We're here to talk about the fact that the Monticello facade is really an optical illusion. From 1784 until 1789, Jefferson served as our commissioner and minister to France. And while he was there, he very much embraced French culture, and he particularly liked French architecture. He did love Paris, and it was a tremendous influence on him. When he comes back to Charlottesville, and he's remodeling his house, he crafted the building to give it the appearance, as he had seen in the Hotel de Somme, of the three-story building, but it looked like one story. You see windows that have green shutters on either side. But sitting right on top of those windows are square windows. If you look quickly, it looks like they're just very large, long windows. But in fact, it's two different floors. The first floor has the shutters, the second floor, the square windows that sit above. The third floor lit only by skylights, and those are completely hidden behind a wooden balustrade. And how shocking for the guests when they would get to the second floor. And in order to accommodate this optical illusion, the windows on the inside, they're, they're very low. They're, they're next to the baseboard, and they have to pivot in order to open. So while in Europe, Jefferson sees pivoting window technology, and he incorporates it there. One of the things I think that's so much fun about Monticello is just how bright it is. You've got all that glass. This is someone who fell in love with them, among other things in Paris, just simply light. This is the time of Versailles. You have that hall of mirrors. You have this enormously bright interiors. And we still look to those techniques today, but we call them French doors. They have lots of glass, let in lots and lots of light. For me, I, I think that what Jefferson is trying to do with architecture, as he did in politics and in agriculture and in language, he's redefining. He's helping us to create a new nation. And he's doing this with the architecture as well as with the language and with the politics.